Hello, let's paint some watercolor flowers. I am Nilofa, a watercolor artist from Me With A Pencil. I'm using a Canson paper for paints, crimson, ultramarine and sap green. I'll be using one single brush that is an 8 number brush. I'm using an Escoda Ultimo. You can use any 8 number or 6 number brush, a mixing palette, a ceramic palette. I like to use a ceramic palette. So let's get started. I um, will be starting with the crimson. Mix a lot of colors and we will be using a very light shaded color. Make three lines that are, that are opposite to each other like a, like a fan. And then slowly add this M-shaped uh, M petal. The petal basically looks like an M when you go around it, right? Paint the three petals overlapping the three lines that we've created. And then slowly drop in a little darker pigmented color um, we're still using the uh, crimson in the center of the petals this will help you to get a nice deeper center and then now we will add overlap the next three petals that are going to be on the top of the bottom petals once you finish this is going to be a little bit more pigmented than the bottom one then I'm going to mix a little paints gray in my pair in the crimson and just add it on the sides of the petal giving it a nice dark uh, depth effect and creating different uh, little shadow between the two petals now let's repeat the repeat the flower uh, creating side angle flowers when you're doing a side angle flower uh, you make only one front Si uh, front petal and the side petals are going to be a half petals they're not going to be a full petal and the bottom petal which is facing you basically you're just seeing one uh, front view of that petal it's going to be just a half of it, even half of the half petal add in some extra darker shades on the sides of the petals the corners of the petals basically now i'm just overlapping the flowers a little bit a few more strokes of uh, the deeper paints gray and crimson just to give it a little bit more of detailed effect taking a crimson again uh, sorry paints gray and adding the center of the flower make sure you make a nice big center because the animatic flower has a nice center and then a dotted little little dots around the main big center these these center, the center is the actual characteristics of the flower, so make sure that you add it properly and, it, and a big center, not a small one. Again, adding some more. After the flower has dried, you can always add in some line, darker lines to give it more character, build in some characteristics to your flower. Since this is a half petal, this is a half flower, like half facing uh, flower, this would have a half a dome shape center. Added some little veins and then let's get in painting some leaves, adding some leaves to a flower because without the leaves the flower is in incomplete. Let's add some nice pretty leaves. I'm using a sap green for the leaves and then adding shading it with a darker, deeper green. To create a deeper green, uh, you can mix a little blue that is either a Prussian blue ultimately to get a little deeper green effect now I'm going to create two buds on the both either sides of the flower for bud just use the similar upstroke make sure that you're using a lighter color first when you're doing the stroke and then again take a pigmented color without any water and add it, a pigmented stroke in the center when you are add, uh, adding the pigmented stroke, make sure it does not have much water because the bottom, the color, uh, the bud is already wet. So you just need to add a pigmented stroke. Adding one more flower on the side because I think it will look nicer if we add two more flowers on both the sides using the same uh, M, M stroke. Remember, this is a similar to all the uh, one petal strokes but it's uh, mostly in the one petal stroke we take the brush up slowly uh, from down to up but in the end stroke you zigzag your brush you 
take the brush from one give, give the brush a little wave to get your end stroke add a little more details of little adding um, some leaves and some more details of lines around your pattern hope you enjoyed this tutorial of how to paint an anemone flower pattern and you like the tutorial too if you try this do tag us and do share with us and follow us for more tutorials such tutorials on our youtube and on our instagram see you next time thank you and bye bye